One yards downfield. And not in the area because look at the route by Keenan Allen. Takes J.C. Jackson inside and suddenly. But watch how well this is timed up. Watch him come out of the break. Cooper Cup comes out of the break. That ball is already thrown to the perfect spot. The Kyler Murray has. He, he runs a little out and up, but not really home. Not much of a move right there. Stokes just gets, he gets totally turned around. You knew eventually it was coming to him. And Amari Cooper, hamstring. Whatever that machine was, working on him on the side. Third guy in his read. He comes back to it really late. He's trying to make a move, but then he comes back and he spots. And yet he did. He's going to try and take away that inside, force him to go down the boundary. And if he had, they would not have converted that. This ball is so well placed. And when a guy has the athletic ability, like Metcalf, of course, when he's one-on-one, -on -one, you just throw it up there. And that... It doesn't get any prettier than that play right there. Way that he would like, but what a route. Deontay Harris, I mean, if he hits him. That is what Jalen Hurts had. Great job with the offensive line protecting, giving this route time to develop. You see there's two moves on there. First, a break free of the press. Everybody's got to count for one guy. Nobody's able to win. But look at the move there by Godwin that he's able to put on C.J. Well, they decide to bring a little bit of pressure, and Kevin White one-on-one -on, -one on Pierre Desir. And is he getting open all the time? Watch how good he is on his release. Presses up, gets back inside, presses it up the field a little bit more, gets that separation away from the linebacker level. Pretty good move there on the outside with the slam. Nice route by Judy. He's going to sell this inside, then he's going to cut back to the outside. You see him get the crossover by Danny Johnson right there. And watch the end of that. There, there's Chris Conley right there, number 18. Look at how well this ball is thrown. It's perfect right out in front. Boy, talk about Cortland Sutton just stacking right now. Stack. Look at his hand right there. Stack the defensive back. And a great, great route here, separating by Marquise Goodwin on Mosley. 38 <laughs> yards on the catch from Pittman. Third and 16. Wentz has pressure. He's about to get sacked. There's four guys around Pittman here. He just throws it up, says, please make a play. And Pittman elevates. It goes up. To be able to create the separation. You see the move right there that he's able to put on Roby. What a great opportunity for Mike White and taking full advantage of it after a couple of early interceptions, not letting that affect him. I, I, I don't know that... I, I love the two outside receivers. You've got Jalen Waddle, who's small and quick, and you've got Devon. This is just a play-action pass to Mixon, and, and Higgins goes over the top because so much attention is placed on Jamar Tate. Going deep for New England. They keep saying, when is Mac Jones going to take the shots? Well, you have to time it all up. You have to get protection. Knocks it away. That was a beauty intended for Chase. Well, Chase gets a pretty easy release there. Put him inside the 15. 14 of the Jets, first and 10. And Michael Carter was in position. It looked like he was going to be able to knock the ball. To take one shot to the end zone. Yeah, they got time here to still take one. But watch Debo Samuel. They call it running this up on his toes. Vildor. I don't know why Vildor. What, what's going on in the game right now? You're way behind. And all right, let, let's be alert for something tricky. Maybe a double move and out and up. And yep, there it is. You know, don't, don't sit on something. Oh when you're up 38 to 7. There are some guys who are fast, there are some guys who are quick, but Stefan Diggs has the gift of suddenness when he made that inside. Pretty clear cut. And then we'll take a look at the route. This is some matchup on the outside, isn't it? Justin Jefferson, one of the best young players, receiver. Said it with the defense and what Lovey Smith's going to see are some splashes from time to time. There's a little bit of a splash right there by Davis Mills extending that play. Malaka well, just beats Trey Herndon. This is man-to-man -man. Herndon. It looks like they almost have a double on him with Jenkins on the inside. He got the ball back. They went down and scored. This, I thought, was a critical moment to this drive. Tennessee well, has the lead. Actually looked like he caught it. First down by the Jets. Rouget in good coverage. Mims gets a little push off at the top of the route. Well, and as you said, if it stands, it looks like both feet get down. It's just whether or not the ball's secured. There is a little bit of movement. There's the toe drag. One-on-one -on -one to the right side. What, the really nice thing, they're going to occupy right here as well with the running back or the tight end. You're going to pull that up a little bit, create a little bit more space. Time and time again about pass interference, both offensive pass interference and defensive pass interference. But you can see the contact is being initiated. Stayed in a gain of 21 through the air. Well, in the first part of the season, what, a, a big deal was made about the fact that the big plays that Jamar 
Chase makes. And most of those were just go Lance give up the short throws, give up the quick hitches, the check downs, those kinds of things. They don't want to give up the big play. The Bengals have done. Rock you seen in coverage here, and you can see the respect that he's showing A.J. Brown. As long as there's two deep safeties, he could be aggressive as heck, which he was here because he knew his guy had his back. Nice route by A.J. Brown, setting up Kenny Moore, snapping it off. We have an airborne receiver that is falling to the ground. He must maintain possession through the fall and survive the ground. It's a great reception initially. As he hits with his body, that football becomes disengaged. Something that Mike Vrabel talked about going up against this team, seeing what happened throughout the season. Targeted yet in the game. He's just going to run a little out route. Xavier Rhodes in coverage. Stumbles a little. Now just make the tackle. Okay, he caught the ball, and he misses the tackle, and A.J. Brown takes it the distance. Well, it's a big stop for the Colts, and Tannehill goes away from A.J. Brown. Pretty good coverage here. Watch him force hard inside and then come right back into Brown here and basically back him off and then come back and make the catch. So that's sort of... Frank Wright telling you early on that I'm going to be aggressive. You see a nice little route there by Pittman. He is like a six-year veteran back there. Look at that. Not interfering with Carter. Getting right across the front of his body. Knocking that ball down. Look at the concentration. The hands right there to knock that down. They've got a lot of injuries that they're dealing with, but Jack Rabbit Jenkins was with him step for step. You're going to see this constantly throughout the game. The Colts going down the field. Yeah, Kevin, that, that's as, as good of a catch as you'll see anywhere in the NFL. The outer edge of field goal range for Prater. Well, this time there's two guys out there. On the previous play, there was nobody there. This time there's two guys. That... With a play before, right before the break, but look at this matchup, Stephon Gilmore. I mean, he's been covering him all over the field, just gloving him down the field. Had no problem playing press man-to-man -man down at the bottom of your screen. Didn't go for the inside move. Johnson going against Williams a bunch Love this drive here by Fields. Look at the soft cushion. Look how deep Mosley is. You know, he does a great job They call that push in the corner and you can see why that size and strength watch this right here Jim just nope It's hard to see did Jalen Johnson get his hand in there Yeah, really good play by Jalen Johnson. sixth organization started with Arizona yeah, he has done some good things. He's been relied on, and, and he's very competitive, and he's played well. Which means he can hand it off, and he decides to turn. But all the way across the field to Claypool, the big man. I love the way they move him around. Here's Cordero Patterson. He's in the backfield. He's running zone. He runs 16 out of Philly first down. Quest Watkins has been Mr. Reliable, always in the right spot. And I'm telling you, Jalen Hurts, when he sits in the pocket, Knowing this is the only thing that can get to you, just a bad play by Jalen Mills, number two. It's the one-on-one. -on -one. You've got the safety right here. Justin Simmons going down, so you know you've got the one-on-one -on -one from the inside slot. means you've got a lot of room to the outside. Position, and now he's just running from inside out, and if you throw it with timing and accuracy, you can't stop that play. And sometimes when you get to that four-down territory, you, you kind of know it, and you know what you want. Now we find you get into a little rhythm, right? Now we're getting completions. Those are the routes that Kyle Shanahan talked about, right? Can I? We've had fields a few times this year, right? We've seen his development. We've seen the struggles. We've seen the success. He's a better pocket. The season for Humphrey's first down. Yeah, he's just going to run a quick out here. You know, he pushes it inside. Then look at him cross over here. But this is a guy they really want. They weren't biting early. See that move, but the eyes are located where you're looking at the receiver all the way through to the quarterback. So nice job by Byron Jones. Right, come down here like you're running some type of gap scheme. Now fight through the line of scrimmage. You get lost in coverage. You automatically, you automatically create a leverage position on um, St. Juice, who's trying to cover you right there. Right to lock its hands. So they have taken the touchdown call back now and ruled him down at the one-yard line. His hands to the face again. NFL game today. And that is the second time Byron Jones has kind of been targeted. They're just going to try and do a typical cover two defense. The safety split, and then it's supposed to be 
Mackenzie Alexander running down the field with that middle reach. Big an arm as Patrick Mahomes has to roll left and try to come back and hit Tyreek Hill. Uh, that's a that's a tough ask. Receiver that will win on the slant route, and you got to take your time. He gets a little Tyree kill from the slot, from the number three position in that trip set. You see he slips coming out of the break, but that kind You know, Waddle has continued to surprise me. The more I watch him, his ability to catch the ball in traffic and just that sub. Yeah, you're just playing a too high safety look, right? You're just kind of putting a tent over everything. Nice drive, nice break. Smith was there. <laughs> magical, magical. Unbelievable off of Breland's chest. And you're going to see the cushion one more time here. And this is the reason I say C.D. Lamb can't get the ball enough. If the Vikings want to move up and play the run, and why wouldn't it? Quick set. It's going to allow Brown to jump it quickly. Look at him. He's looking right in at Cousins. Takes a glance. It's a nice job by this defense staying deep. You see Jackson, Adoree Jackson out there staying deep, Lewis. Yeah, he's just got to play it top down. Although what's interesting, you it looked like Jefferson coming out of this break is going to make just a little bit of a slowdown, thinking maybe he's going to hit the ball right there in the hole. And then he had to try to re-accelerate. Well, Daniel Sorensen in the deep part of the field has been an issue for this team all year long. You saw Tyron Matthew in the box on that one. So it's just one on one on the outside. And there's Breland going to give CD a lot of room on the outside. Well, they go stack, you go trips to one side, and they just, two guys jump Evans. Two guys immediately jump Evans, and it just... It's here. Pretty soft out there on the outside. He's got so much... I'll tell you, this Anthony Brown, who basically, if the Cowboys had drafted a cornerback, which everybody thought they were going to do this year, probably was the odd man out. I like this guy. He's got great speed, quickness, excellent route. In, in being able to shake C.J. Gardner-Johnson inside. It looked like Lattimore may have stumbled off of this as he comes off of that contact. It was just enough to throw him blitz. Here they come. Everybody's locked up one-on-one. -on -one. Traquan Smith does a good job. Ross Cockrell is in there in the nickel position, and Traquan shows a little patience instead of just coming out of that break too fast.